G'day everyone, welcome to Xris Art. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. Just one moment, I'll make sure that all, everything is going. Um, okay, fixing that, my sound. Um, okay, let me just pop out the chat. Okay, all right. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say uh, hello to everyone. I see that um, Gary has popped in. Uh, g'day Wendy. Um, Wendy, for all who don't know her, um, uh, Wendy is moderating the chat and I've got all her... Uh, she's um, her art her art channel name is Artista365. I've got all her details in the description box below. Just wanted to say thank you. And uh, Janice has popped she's popped in to say hello. Um, thank you, Janice. Uh, g'day Kenny, how you going? Shandri, hello. Out shopping. Oh, g'day Heidi, how are you? Mer Lady Marigold. Helen, hello Helen, how are you going? Uh, Rhonda, g'day Rhonda, long time no see ladies. Um, let me see. Oh Nanette, hello, Jelena, hello. Oh, I really want to join in but I'm not alone at work today and therefore cannot have any fun on Chrissy's stream. I'll watch it later, oh my goodness. That's okay Jelena. All right, so. Oh, uh, Oh, hang on. Have I missed anyone? I haven't. Have I missed anyone? Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, here we go. There's more. Oh, good day, Pumpkin Spice. Hello. How are you going? Um, Lindy, hello. Hello. Okay, I think I have everyone now. Okay. So, as you might have gathered, I've got a whole heap of um, pans out. Uh, pan pastels, that is. And I wanted to talk about... Mixing pan pastels. Oh, g'day, Will. How are you going? Long time no see. Um, and, but what, um, and it's, um, I ha I've been getting a few uh, questions about uh, mixing pan pastels and what kind of pan pastels to get for people who are beginners and don't know what set. And it was brought to my attention. Thank you, Heidi. Um, and oh, oh, g'day, Andy. Hello, how are you going? Oksana, hello, how are you going? Um, and so it was brought to my attention. I thought, you know what, this is a really good idea. Now, I have been mixing pan pastels before, but I thought that I would... Um, there are three things that I want to go through today. I want to go through mixing uh, pan pastels, uh, mixing pan pastels on various pastel papers, not pastel mat, other ones. And if if someone was to purchase a set, what would be the set that they would purchase first off? So I thought, well, I shall do that. So what I'm going to do is just move my camera just a little bit towards my workspace okay oh and I also wanted to do some gradients today so the three things they're the three things I'll see how I go um, so first of all I'm gonna put now this is um, if someone was to purchase a if, if you were a beginner and you didn't know what colors to purchase uh, this is a good set to start off with. Now I've talked about other, um, other colors that I start off with, colors that I use, but I think it's probably not fair because I've been using these for a long time and I'm used to using the pans that I've got and I've got a lot now, but I didn't have all of these to begin with. I bought sets and then I just kept on adding. So this is the set of 10 that you can purchase. Um, first of all, I'm not sponsored. Um, um, and I'm only just sharing because um, I like this product so much and of course pastels in general and lots of other stuff in general anyway so when you can purchase and first of all let me just get it um oh g'day David hello how you going g'day Christine how you going okay all right now these are the colors and I will name these as well uh, you can buy these um, in a pack like this. So I'll start off with Ultramarine Blue, Hansa Yellow, Permanent Red, 
making sure. Um, yellow ochre, uh, violet, uh, phthalo green, making sure, um, raw umber, white, black, and burnt sienna. Yes, just making sure. So really, these are the pigment colors. Actually, they're um, they're the you know these aren't they are the full pigment colors. Yes, and light fast and everything. So if someone was to buy a set, hang on, is that in is that in in the in the shot? I don't know if it's okay. Now, here we go. There we go. There we go. Just wanted to make sure it was in the shot. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's in. Oh, oh, I'm upside down. Oh, can I just flip? Oh, oh my goodness. Can you just hang on a sec? I can't believe I did that. Hang on a sec. <laughs> um. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Here we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Had everything ready except for that. Okay, so that's the set that I would probably recommend to start off with. Now I was uh, playing around with these earlier on some pastel, um, just this is a mitant, uh, mitant text, right? Uh, pastel paper. And I was trying to achieve some skin colors. So I'm gonna demonstrate that as well today. If um, So hopefully you'll be in the chat long enough to, to see that. And I was using these colors to do this sort of thing and before I go even further with that I think for people who are beginners who don't understand color theory and how colors work it would be a good idea and to to purchase a color wheel now the good thing with this one now I'm pretty sure these are all over the place all over the sorry, all over the world um, the good thing with this is is that you can see your primary colors, your black and your white, and there's the gray scales just here. But what's really good, and then you've got your, um, what, hang on, let me just get complementary colors. The, um, and, and then you see the color wheel where they've mixed. So for example, anyway, red and blue make violet and all of that. So for example, if I was to say, look at this yellow bit here. If I was to mix, so red, here we go. We've got red, orange, red on one side, orange on the other, and then it makes a red orange, okay? So then if we were to mix that red orange with the primary color, we would get this lovely ochre color. Now you can't probably see that how it is, how I see it, but I think this is really worth worth getting and what we can do is maybe do an exercise in mixing these colors to make the colors that's in the middle there so if you're really interested I can really go into that if you wanted to um, um, let me see uh, Helen says I have that color wheel but don't know how to use it oh well there you go we'll use it today Helen how about that okay did, did, did I say hello to Nanette? I did say hello to Nanette, didn't you? You have... Okay. Uh, oh, um, Gary. Gary's back. Okay. Oh, you're eating chocolate and drinking wine. One of my favourite things to have. Okay. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to get stuck into it. So just for the time being, also, um, I want to also introduce... Let me see. What did I do with it? Oh. I had it right here. Did I, oh, did I have it here? Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to put these aside just for the moment. And I just wanted to talk about some of the papers that I would like to use or talk about today. Um, so, and mixing colors on these different papers. Now, here I've got. You are 800. Now, for people that, as you, as you know, I love using pastel mat. That'll be um, the paper that I'll always use mostly. Yeah, I'll just. Oh, uh, good day, Coffee Cat. Hello, hello, Joanna. How are you going? All right. 
So, um, so people that can't afford or can't get a hold of pastel mat, and of course there are pastel papers, so many, and I know, and I have talked about this before, but I thought we'll mix on on this on these papers as well if I get time to do it. So here I've got you are eight hundred. I've got art spectrum cut. Oh, oh, good day, Amy. Hello, how are you going? How are you going? Nice to see you here. I've got Art Spectrum Color Fix Smooth. Not one of my favorites for pastels. Fantastic for color pencil though. Um, now, um, I haven't tried this one, so this is going to be a goodie. Um, Kenny says, remember to press the record button. Thank you so much, Kenny. I'm actually not going to record this one, um, but thank you so much. It's so good that everyone's on the ball. There you go. And this is, oh, um, oh, uh, Anna, hello. How you going? How you going? Nice to see you here. So here's Sennelier Velvet. Not to be mistaken with... Uh, the Hannah Mueller uh, Velour, okay, which is here. I I thought I'd. That's Helen. Yeah, yeah. Hannah Mueller Velour, and this is Sennelier Velvet, which can I just say they um, feel very similar. Uh, the the Hannah Mueller the Hannah Mueller is thicker than the Sennelier Velvet. The velvet, I think, only comes in three colours. All right, so we're going to try uh, mixing on those as well. Again, um, this is um, Ingress paper, but this one is by Sennelier, and it's grey, it's, they call it grey felt paper. But any um, uh, Ingress paper would do, and we're going to see if we can mix on those. All right. Um, and here we go. Here we go. We've got Hannah Mueller Pastel Fix. This is the one that um, this is the one that I'm going to do the uh, the gradient scale. And I just wanted to show you how you can mix that to create values and stuff like that. But that's this color. This is like a dark. Oh, I don't know. A gray. Um, doesn't look the same on screen. But anyway. And there's the. Oh. There's the, the blue one. All right, so I'm just going to put those aside just for the moment. So these are the sorts, these are the things that I'd like to cover. Hopefully we'll have time to do all of these things. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. First of all, I'm going to choose a set of colors and I thought, ha, huh, here we go. Um, this is blue and I'd like these colors to pop. So, um, the opposite and of course there is the the back if you want and there's an arrow you see uh, the complementary of blue is orange here we go see so I'm thinking yellow here blue violet I'm not quite sure if this is a blue violet it's in between that but let's go yellow orange and I th I've picked something which I think I'd like to use and it's a well, it's dairy light yellow, yellow dairy dairy light. Oh, I don't know how they. I can never pronounce it correctly. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So these are the colours that I want to show a gradient with, and I'm going to use black and white on either side. So that's that's what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm just going to put this aside or maybe I can just put it here hopefully yeah so you can see that I'm going to use um, I'm going to use and of course when I'm mixing um, I use uh, cartridge paper but this is um, oh, what was it 100 110 110 GSM cartridge paper so I'm going to use that to mix my colors with so I can actually um, Put it on my grayscale here and so as you can see oh you may not be able to or maybe just i'm going to zoom in now i'll zoom in so we can get a better look please ask questions um please ask questions if you if you like hopefully i can answer them and i'm going to start off with the light area first I'm going to use a paper towel. 
so I can keep on wiping. I don't want to contaminate some of these. So these are the colors I'm going to use on here. So I'm going to start with white. So pretty much, oh, I might have to tape this down. Oh, that's okay. So I hope everyone's week has been pretty good. Uh, I think hopefully this brush now the last time I used this paper it didn't like you using the brushes but let's see how we go I may have to use my soft tools um, which I have here and I will use them if I have to so so okay this is titanium white diary light yellow tint so what I'm going to do here and this is what I wanted to show I wanted to show how you can mix that's Oh, that's what I'm trying to do so I'm mixing white with diary light yellow tint diary light yellow tint has been mixed with titanium white and ooh, maybe I can just uh, will that work that might work here we go so so I'm mixing with white and diary light tint. I have, sorry, before I go any further too, sorry, I've got white on this side, black on here. And I've divided, I've got 16, 16 sections here. So what will happen is white will be here. Um, I just need to mark it so I don't lose my place. Uh, that'll be um, that'll be diary light. This will be uh, diary light tint. This will be diary light. One, two. This will be shade. Is that it? Shade. And two this will be extra dark and that will be black okay we've got it now I just don't want I just don't want to lose my place um, okay so I've so I've mixed uh, Uh, yes, no, I've actually just, um, maybe I should do it this way. Hang on, so you don't see, hang on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sorry. Second, there we go. Thanks for that. There we go. All right, so here we go. That's better. Okay, now I'm using this brush. I'm not quite sure if I like the brush on this paper. The, sorry, the paper that I'm using is Pastel Fix by Hannah Mule. Le, Hannah Mueller. Um, just let me see, first of all. It's probably better with... Um, yeah. This might be better this way. Here we go. I'm going to have to make the colors with my brush, I think. And so, yeah, this is, I have discovered that um, this brush technique doesn't work on a lot of papers. Here we go. Maybe, I don't know. All right. Okay, so now um, I'm, I'm going to stay with this mix and I'm going to add more of the diary light and no, no white now. There's a bit of white in that mixture there. 
we go. I wonder if you can see that. There we go. There we go. So I've mixed that. And I'm just using a paper towel to wipe that. Let's see how we go with that. Slightly darker, as you can see. All right. Now, Diary Lied. I'm using the pure, I'm using Diary Lied tint. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Is it different? Yes, you can. I can see that you can. All right, now I'm going to use Diary Lied tint and mix Diary Lied um, tint and Diary Lied the pure pigment. So I just wanted to, um, I'm just cleaning my brush and I'm going to mix that as well. Here we go. There we go. More diary lied here. There we go. All right, so here we go. getting slightly darker there we go now I'm going to use more diary lied pigment sorry the full pigment into my mixture again Now, of course, you can mix on, like, on the paper itself on your project when you're doing it. I do do it all the time. Um, uh, Chrissy, those yellows have very unique names. Instead of yellow, it's diary not diary white, diary lied. I'll show you. Hang on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Diary lied. There you go. And there's the pigment information. There's Hansa Yellow PY3, and that's P PY83. Interesting. Mm. So there you go. Okay. So, oh, what have I done here? Okay. So there it is there getting darker all right uh g'day renata hello chrissy and wendy hello every everyone oh nice to see you haven't seen you in a while <laughs> okay so i'm just flipping my sponge over all right so i'm going to use now the the pure pigment diary light And blending that there we go okay just wiping it on my paper towel um Oksana I have I tried mixing on the sponge instead of the paper no I haven't done that I've seen it done um, I've seen it done the reason why I haven't is because what happens then when um, if you've mixed on the spot you mean as in 
uh, this sponge applicator or do you mean you know those big sponges which of course I don't have right next to me silly me um, um, have you tried yeah okay all right so um, but the, the big ones if you wanted to uh, use that big sponge to mix on um, to mix colors but there are other colors underneath so um, with this technique I can or with this paper I can um, have quite a few different uh, samples or palettes and mix on that without uh, contaminating I think that's what I'm trying to find the right word Chrissy have you finished your hibiscus flamingo lady already you know what I'm this close to finishing she's lovely um, I've been um, uh, she's very nice I'm actually quite pleased with the way she's turned turned out turned out I've just got to do her her hand and another one more hibiscus flower and I'm nearly done hopefully I might be able to upload the video by this weekend so thank you Anna um, thank you very much um, Chrissy um, I mean the big sponges yes I yeah I understood what you meant Oksana yes I've seen it um, uh, Sharon hello Sharon hello how are you uh, welcome to the stream I don't think I've seen you here before um, uh, have I missed anyone have I missed anyone yeah okay um, and Helen says Chrissy uh, seen it on a big sponges but I think the pigment is not laying on top like papette hmm. papette or oh, paper uh, like paper yes it is a bit different um, but look if you like I can actually get a sponge and we can have a have a go at that we can try that if you like I'll do that I'll just I just gotta get up and I will I will for that matter I will seeing as that we're talking about it um, okay Anna um, I thought so um, uh, what what I'd like to know is why haven't you got your own set of pans yet um, Jason Morgan has the wildlife set where's the Chrissy set I don't know I don't know um, uh, well it's the Chrissy set that I talk about with you guys how about that um, paper yes okay uh, it seems to be going onto that paper smoothly but maybe it wouldn't wouldn't it be able to able to layer much you see this is not I mean this is why I well let's have a go we'll have a go maybe good for a beginner or for trying out things before using a good paper like pastel mat although Hannah Mueller is not cheap either Heidi you know um, you know I suppose it depends what you're using um, that would be a huge Chrissy set <laughs> she's using them all uh, Pam Pastel is the Chrissy set oh here we go thanks Will <laughs> okay so I'm gonna lose my place um, okay so now all right so now I'm going to mix diary light the the um, let me see diary light the pigment the full pigment and uh, the shade all right so let's have a go at that all right so I just might do might flip this around okay so I'm going to use more diary light oh no okay uh, Jean I think it's Jean Jean Jean, um, uh, are you from Scotland? No, I'm from Australia. <laughs> That's, um, but yes, there you go. Oh, Christian. Hello, Christian. Welcome, welcome. How, uh, Chrissy, how is your Middle Earth painting coming along? Gandalf is waiting patiently. Uh, it's coming along very nicely. Thank you very much. It's, it's going very well, actually. I was uh, doing a, um, I was in a working stream uh, last Sunday, the Sunday that just passed. Okay, so diary light the full pigment and diary light shade, and I'm only just going to get a little bit of that and mix that. Okay, here we go. Um, I've got to use this. Hang on, I'm going to use. Uh, let me see. I'm going to use a clean one here. Uh, 
Oh, there's not enough of the shade, I think, in this. There we go. Can I do this? Oh, okay. I think it needs a little bit more of that. Yeah, it works better with the soft tools. Oh, thank you so much, um, Oksana. Um, it's, uh, I think it has to be one of my favourites so far for the March mashup. Um, truly, it's in Chrissy style, like I've got to say. It is, yeah. But, um, but I'm really loving it. Um, uh, okay, so now I've added a little bit more of the um, Diary Light shade. Okay, so needs a little bit more. Very hard to tell at this point. I think this one actually needs There we go. And this one needs more shade in there. Okay. All right. Now, shade. All right. Okay. I'm just looking to see what you're looking at. That's all. Just going to move that across. Now, I'm going to use Diary Light Shade and Diary Light Extra Dark. So actually, I might even mix it in this one here. So bear with me just for a moment. And mind you, I've actually put masking film around here because I'd like a nice clean, oh, look at that. I'd like nice clean lines. So, okay. Let me just mix more of this. So, uh, okay, I think, yes, I think it might be an even tie between, yes, the butterfly leaf is quite nice too. She's actually quite pretty, isn't she? Yes, she is. Um, yes, I like her too, actually. Um, let me just... There we go. This one is just a little bit too similar for my liking. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to go back and fix that. Um, so I'm ah uh, and then um, my mashup ladies are lovely. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. I think it's the sponges that oh, okay here we go that's better Christian says would you recommend pay makeup tools for pan pastels I use them all the time but these ones I use things like this um, only though I recommend these only on pastel mat as you can see I'm not using these so much i don't feel comfortable so much using they're just not going on the way i like them to um or the way that i do when i'm using pastel matte it's just the surface you know and then with each paper you've actually got to um 
you know, change your style a bit. But yes, I recommend using something like this, but that's the way I work. So, but it works slower than soft tools, as you can see, you know, soft tools, you work so much faster, so much faster with soft tools. Hang on, I just want to change this around. Now this is um, Diary Light Extra Dark. Oh yes, the um, the and I used all these lovely magentas and violets and um, just. Oh, good day, Steve. Hello, hello. How are you going? How are you going, uh, Sharon? I haven't used pastel matte. What is the texture like? Okay. The texture is like um, it is. If I can talk in plain language. Um, it feels like uh, uh, it's, it's like a oh, like a soft sanded surface that's not abrasive. Gosh, that sounds funny the way I said. If I yeah, that's not abrasive. It is not abrasive whatsoever. You can, you know, it's not hard on your fingertips at all, and. That's, and what happens is that when you apply the pastel, it grips. It grips the pastel. And um, if, you're around, I'll, uh, if you're around long enough, Sharon, hopefully I can actually show you the difference. Um, okay, so we're up to now the extra dark and the black. So I'm actually going to be using the black here. And now I'm going to just use a touch of the black on this. Oh, look at that. I knew I should have. I just took too much. Here we go. Oh wow. I'm just going to touch a little bit on this. Yes. Um, Helen, I'm not sponsored, by the way. Um, not at all. Um, but um, they, um, they've been very nice to me. They sent me nice messages saying thank you for um, uh, Oh, hang on. How is that going? Oh, yeah, that's going pretty good. They've said thank you very much for um, uh, using their product and, um, you know, and they've enjoyed the videos and some of the videos and the work that they've seen me do. So I'm very, I'm very lucky about that. Okay, so here we go. I'm putting a little bit more um, Diary Light Extra Dark into that and a little bit more black. Actually, I need more pigment. That's what's happening with me. I need the pigment. So don't be afraid. Okay, uh, with the colors, absolutely. Um, uh, Heidi says, with the color smudging outside your masking tape, will give us a good chance to see how well the, the, um, that erases off that kind of paper. Yes, absolutely. And um, I have my, <laughs> my kneaded eraser, look at that, in a pan pastel container. <laughs> Serious. Um, okay, so, so here we go. Let me see if I can get this dark enough. Here we go. I think I can. I think I'm doing it. Here we go.
and of course black it's not going so vibrant as I like it and see this is why I don't use this paper for my projects but that's not to say I mean you if you use soft pastel on here oh my gosh so much it's so uh, it's so vibrant okay so here we go I th oh g'day Deb how you going you've caged the needed eraser <laughs> yes I have ah uh, uh, next they will send the sponsor oh okay all right um Kenny says I suggested something for you uh, might want to take a look above oh okay um where is it oh yeah Chrissy if you want uh, you can cut that strip of yellows and create a color chart uh, then do the blues greens reds and so forth well actually you know what I've actually um, I've actually uploaded a video of uh, one that I've done in red iron oxide on pastel matte and you'll find that when you see the paper that I've uh, on pastel matte is just for example uh, pastel matte has just brings out these colors all right so I shall put now okay um, who's who, who wants uh, Anita uh, Amy uh, Faber Castell for me it is one of the best it is like how would you call it plasticine oh, that's what we used to call it like play-doh like this is how we call it but look yeah it is uh, very soft very malleable and it picks up the pastel very well and we're going to give it a go right now but before I do that I just want to show you so that's how I've been and that's how I uh, mix my pastels I m make a color as if I was doing this on like like as in watercolor on water on a watercolor palette or an oils on oil palette or acrylics the same so that is how I mix my colors and I also mix my colors on the surface so let's do the the test before I do that I actually want to um, vacuum my area oh and look at that my paper towel okay so you can see all of that so always using my paper towel to um, clean my sponges okay I'm going to put this aside I'll put these aside now um, it's very possible that I will end up uh, doing gradient um, on all the other colors I think it's it's just a, it's just a matter of time uh, but definitely it's I think it's something well worth doing absolutely um, all right let me just vacuum this hang on a sec okay so my masking film and mind you I used um, I used uh, the blade on here as well so I'm actually quite surprised that um, I haven't cut oh look I love it when I do this <laughs> it's so satisfying look at that oh, love it okay here we go there's that it's a nice little finish There we go. So, oh, hang on. There we go. So that is diary lied. The the four the four values and let's try the kneaded eraser. I should get the gum eraser as well. Okay, hang on. Let me just zoom in so you can see. okay that's working pretty good this is uh, Hannah Mueller uh, pastel fix okay and here we go this bit here 
Can you do the blues right above it, um, doing sort of like a, a rainbow pattern? Well, I'll keep this around. Okay. The needed, the needed eraser will do. Will do. The needed eraser will do the job fine. Yes, it will. Not bad. And which I do a lot. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can probably. And here we go. So. Okay, so the gradient on, um, I think that one looks a bit too the same. I've got to remember what it is. Uh, I'll probably fix it later. I think these, these ones are not quite right. Values, not quite right. Hang on a sec. It's these two. That is this one. And I don't know whether it's the tool. Okay, and I think that needs Oh, now I've mucked it up Hang on Let me do this again I don't want to That's that there one two that's that there that's that this is where I need more shade more of this wow And that one needs more of that. Amy, okay. Uh, I've got to go. Thanks for the great live. Bye for, bye for now, everyone. See you later. Bye for now. It looks really nice. Okay. All right. All right. Now, let me just get that kneaded eraser. And I'll fix again. That's pretty cool, hey, how it does that. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so, so we've done a gradient, but you get the idea. But you get the idea, what I'm trying to say, is that that's how you can mix and uh, get values. Um, get values. And that was just with uh, four, four of the pans, with the, uh, not including the black and the white. So there you go. So there's that. All right, so I'll just put that aside. Now, um, what I wanted to do also is now I'm going to, now this is the, the 10 set. So for people who are just starting out, for people who are just starting out and don't know what pans to use, there's your 10 basic set and they're the pigments. So let's make some skin colors from that. Um, uh, let's make some skin colors from that. And I'm going to choose, um, so this was on, so this is me just playing around. So we'll do this together. 
and we might even use the color with the color wheel uh, if I get stuck so let's just put that aside just for a moment and I'm going to mix straight on the papers this time uh, so let's choose so what 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 would you like me to what would you like me to mix on um, is there a particular one that you'd like me to try um, I've got to say I've never tried the Sennelier velvet who knows what that okay well let's just do then the Sennelier velvet seeing as I've never tried this paper before so here we go this is so typical of me <laughs> Oh, doing things on live streams that I've never um, the color will make sense to me now okay so <laughs> here we go uh, this may not be pretty okay all right so let's have a go I might just put these just around me enough so you can see all right so if I was to use Oh, here, let's do that. Okay. Might just do that around me here. Okay, just let me get a clean one, a clean sponge. I'll just put that aside. I'll get a clean sponge. Uh, I've got my little container. Oh no, here we go. I've got some clean sponges here. All right. Um, just adjust. Okay. Um, the uh, these uh, these papers that I've I've purchased are from my lo local art store, but. Um, but having said that, uh, our lo uh, the local art store um, uh, dis um, uh, gets these from from Europe, uh, from the manufacturers. So uh, they are available in Europe. I suspect these would be available in Jackson's at Jackson's UK. Um, I'm not quite sure about. I mean, I'm not quite sure about Amazon or. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure about Amazon. I think they've got certain ones and like, for example, for the people that live in the US, I'm not quite sure whether they've got them like at Jerry's or um, uh, Dick Blick. I'm not quite sure, but I definitely got these from Soft Pastels Australia. It's softpastels.com. Soft, soft, uh, softpastelsaustralia.com. Uh, and that, but they do uh, get these from Europe. So Jackson's UK is a place that I would be looking at. Never tried this paper, Sennelier Velvet. Oh yeah, this will be good. All right. So if I was to make a skin tone, just uh, okay. Uh, I also will try these brushes. Um, as well, but let's try the soft pastels. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm going to come up against. So let's have a look. Um, if I'm looking at, um, say, a Caucasian, say someone of my colouring, uh, for example, I'm going to use burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hang on. I'm going to. Um, Zoom in now. Okay. So, okay. Um, mm, not so. It's actually, I'm struggling trying to put the pigment on here. Interesting. using a bit of um, ochre as well I'm going to use a bit of red a bit of burnt sienna here we go there's my red iron oxide that I usually use almost oh, I'm not sure if you can see that I'm going to use a little bit here we go. 
a little bit of the raw sienna to desaturate. It's not coming up the way I'd like it to come up. Very hard. Although it's actually, I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure on this paper and it's probably something that I maybe shouldn't do. Here we go. Hmm. Now I can see that it looks, let me see if I can get closer. sure if I like this paper okay let's try very hard um, I'm going to make the red red and red and yellow or ochre we know makes like a like a pinky skin color skin tone I'm going to use papers not letting me do what I want it to do oh it's too dark It doesn't, does it? Shall we try another bit of paper? It's not even... <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if I like that. You know what, I've got some pastel pencils. Just let me see what happens. Wow. Okay, well, let, let's add white. It'll make it too. Mm. All right, everyone, I've got to go. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Will, for popping by. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay. Um, I'm just not getting the color that I want. It's not not doing what I want. Let's try another bit of paper. Can I try that? Maybe in soft soft pastels it might. But not with pants. Ah, ah uh, yeah, let me try the brush actually. That's a good point. Okay. Um I'm using the smudge one, not the one not the angle, not the angle one. So because I'm going because it picks up more pastel if I if I use this brush. Although, ooh. It's not showing. Is it? I don't know if it's showing or not. There's a burnt sienna. There we go. It's starting to. It might work with the brushes actually, but I don't know. I'm not liking this too much. Mm. Just trying to see what you can see. Mm. Not sure. Not sure. Shall we try another bit of paper? I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I'm giving up very quickly on this paper. Yeah, it looks like the brushes, yeah, the brushes look like they're working better. I'm mixing these. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm it's I'm tr- I'm working very hard. I wouldn't normally work this hard on pastel mat. Am I biased? Okay, let's change paper. This is not working the way I want it to work. Let's change paper. Okay. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to practice with that one. So let's put that one aside. Uh, Sharon says, um, it took me ages to get the velvet paper colours right. There you go. Um, okay, let's, all right. So I'm going to, okay. Well, we were just using Hannah Mueller Pastel Fix on those gradients, so we won't use that one. Um, shall we use, oh, here we go. Let's use UART. How about that? Let's use UART. Okay, this is UART um, 800, uh, and that's prop 600 or 800 would be the past the the UART that I would use. The higher the grade, uh, the finer the the finer the the tooth. Uh, the lower the grade, I think it goes to 400 or 200. I think it goes to 200. 200 would be really rough, and you wouldn't want to be using your fingertips I'd say all right so okay don't um, don't use the sponges oh look that's okay we're having a bit of an exercise here but yes I would imagine it would I mean I can tell it would um, all right well let's have a look okay first of all okay um, I'm going to start off with. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, the red and the yellow. Let's see how we go with that. Look how lovely and bright that is straight away. It is saturated at the moment. Um, I've mixed these three. Oh yes, look at that. That looks lovely. Right. I'm now going to desaturate it with raw umber. It's much better. Uh, for practice only, couldn't you use 800 grit sandpaper? Hmm. Um, you mean like as in, um, well, uh, from the hardware store? Oh, it's not archival, Deb. Um, but 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 for practice, look, I suppose you could. Um, why not? Why not? You could. You could. Um, using a bit of ochre here as well okay as you can see look at that that's actually coming along really nicely I'm just I'm just um, using my paper towel I just want to turn this around again and I'm going to put a little bit of white for Okay, so there you go. Okay, so far it hasn't eaten a sponge, but you know, anything. My vote is to try another paper. This one shows up fine on camera to me, but uh, but not a paper I would like. Okay, I'm changing. I will change. But can you see that that does... That, that works really nicely, see, for skin. Always desat. I mean, I I like to desaturate with the raw umber. Yeah. Okay. All right. So are we happy with this paper? 
Ah, the brushes. Let's try the brushes one more time. And then I'll leave this paper alone. Let's try the brushes. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> ah, so what did we do? We did the red. Okay, the red, the yellow. The red, the yellow, did a bit of ochre and a bit of burnt sienna. There we go, that's fine. Uh, that works fine too. Okay, I prefer the brush over the sponge on this paper. Uh, have to say yeah yeah and yes uh, this is um, a good um, alternative to pastel mat using makeup brushes so there you go with that all right so this is all from the 10 pigment um, uh, set Okay, I haven't, I've been so anxious to go into the ones that I usually use, but um, but as you can see, that sort of works too, doesn't it? Um, the green underlay is to make skin tones. Uh, yeah, all right. All right, let's just... Yeah, um, there's the phthalo, there's the phthalo green, but maybe, hang on, just before I, before I change papers, let's try the green and blue, um, and I'm using this end of the, the soft end, ultramarine, okay, wow, hang on, more yellow, Alright, so say, um, alright, alright, so here we go again, I'm not going to put yellow because I've already put yellow into that. I'm going to, there you go, a bit of white. And so therefore you don't need to use the umber to desaturate. Can you see that area there? I don't know if you can see that area there. So that works. Okay, so that works. All right, so let's put that aside. Let's try something else. I'm going to try an ingress paper now, um, which is the the Sennelier grey felt paper. And if I can show you what that, because I actually bought that today, to be honest, because I was so curious. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. There we go. There, there it is there. 130 GSM, because I haven't talked about this paper before. I haven't tried this paper. Um, it, of course, it's in French and a few other languages. In German, I would. it looks like. Um, uh, 20, this is a pad, 25 by Sennelier. Uh, 130 grams, and it also has... Um, uh, um, like glassine paper they call it crystal paper on here they call it with crystal insert but it's like it's like I mean I don't know what crystal paper is but it certainly feels like glassine to me um, but there you go and there is a, like a ribbing type surface oh you can't see it but it's it, there's a ribbing and then there's a um, a smooth surface is like a rough and a smooth surface so let's have a go at that 
So this is the um, the rough surface, and let's try that. And I want to put. Um, I'm going to try the sponges. I just want to put new sponges on. Um, Here we go. Well, here we go. Let's try mixing on that because I think Helen was who somebody was talking about that one. Uh, was it Oksana? No, it was Oksana, wasn't it? Oksana. Was it Oksana? I think you were talking about. Uh, yes, uh, you're not recording this. Yes, um, I will. Um, I will put some of the. I will put the details of what I've used here in the description box. Give me about a day or so, and I'll and I'll do that for and I'll do it. Um, Deb says um, uh, you can see the ribbing when you close when you close up uh, when you're close up on your table. Oh, can you? Oh, all right. Let's have another go. See, oh yeah, there it is. You can see it. Oh wow, well, check that out. There you go. That's what that surface is. All right. Whoop. Okay, so let's have another go. Um... Let's try the roughs. Oh, okay. Wow. It's gripping the pastel very nicely. Oh, let's do this. Because who was it that was talking about? bright for me actually there we go there we go and this is a pan pastel sponge by the way so there you go Yes, yes, um, Andy. Yeah, this is a um, uh, yeah. This is like um, uh, like a craft box, and I've um, um, yes, and I just every time I go to the to my art shop, I buy just a little pack, and I've built all of this up. Look, here you go. Oh wow, there you go. I'm just going to um, Yes, the thicker sponge. Oh, that's right. It was Helen, wasn't it? The thicker sponges are easier to mix on. Yeah, it's just that. I, so I, because it's it's over there. But as you can see, look, there you go. And this is all from the ten set. Okay, I haven't even <laughs> gone to the set that I normally get. So how about that? Okay, let's try the brush as well. Okay, um, here we go. Um, I don't mind the sponges on this paper, actually. I really don't mind them. I don't mind. Sennelier grey felt paper. Okay. Um, oh, no, I did the sponge uh, brushes. I just want to clean a brush, that's all. So much pigment on that. I haven't used purple yet. I should use purple for something. But uh, for skin... Anyway, oh, that's no good either. Um, I'm just 
trying to see where I've got the pro all right hmm I think the I think oh look at that there's a nice brown a um, little bit of white oh, okay it's working out all right then okay just takes a little bit longer actually than than that than the um, than the sponges sorry okay wow I might even have to vacuum that so hang on a sec okay pastel pencils let's try Mm, something lighter so you can see. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, it's not working. And this is Stabilo Carbothello. Wow. It's not. Okay. On the paper. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Directly on the paper is okay. Hmm. Yeah, it could be that the, the tooth has been filled. Okay. All right, let's erase off the ingress paper. How about that? Okay, it erases pretty good. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. It erases well. It's pretty good actually. I don't mind that. It's working that that's working okay. Let's try. Oh look at that. Pastel pencil pretty good too. There you go. Well, that's all right. So what do you think about that paper, folks? Which I've never tried before. Um, Andy will buy me supplies, fix lights for me. Oh, okay. Um, Chrissy looks like uh, you're creating a really weird creature with your blending. Okay. But you see, the whole point of today's live stream is to is because people have asked what set should I buy to begin with and what I'm trying to say is that and I haven't even mixed anything else either um, you know so that's what today's exercise is all about so let's try another paper let's see what other paper now oh shall we try here we go Pastel board. Shall we try pastel board? Let's try pastel board. All right. Okay, so let's put that aside. Now, I've usually work on the grey one, but um, this is a 5 by 7 by Ampersand. By There you go, pastel board. Yes. All right, so let's have a go with that one. Uh, let's let's try. Let's try. Um, okay, let's try the soft tools first. Hey, see how that is. Now I've I've used. Past, uh, pan pastels on pastel board a long time ago I wasn't really happy with it but I've seen some really beautiful work uh, so maybe I just wasn't persevering enough 
Maybe I'm just too in love with pastel matte to think of anything else. I think the paper was a little disappointing after watching you work on pastel matte. Yes. Yes, see what I mean? And, you know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really nice. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Pastel board. What happened last time I used it? I don't understand. This is lovely. Oh. This is lovely. Wow. Okay, hang on. Mm. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Wonder what happened last time I tried it. Well, there you go. Okay, pastel. Uh, shall try pastel pencil on top. Uh, I like the vibrancy of the colour, says Oksana. Yes. Deb says that's mixing beautifully. Yes, Deb, it is too. Um, oh, that's a thick board. Yes, it is. Uh, pencils on it, please. Yes, I will. Let's let's zoom in. So we can check it all out. Um, oh, look at that, folks. Yes. Yes. Let's try another color. Okay. Let's just try so you can see. Yes. 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 Well, there you go. How about that? I like that. A new convert now, huh? <laughs> Yes, I actually should try a project. I don't know what happened last time that I wasn't pleased. Who knows? But you know what? This one is a little bit rougher than the grey one. I, I, um, I, yes, Wendy did a safari piece. That's right. Finished it with pencils during one of... Yes, you did. And it was looked beautiful. Speed drawing. Yes, absolutely. Um, Wendy, you should put um, uh, a link to that video so people can see how this surface works on that. I'm in love, says Helen. Yes. Um, how does it compare... How does price compare pastel boards versus pastel mat? Um, I think from memory, this one was about six dollars oh sorry uh sorry sorry six dollars 75 for this five by seven it's you know oh look and these are australian dollars so you'd have to look on your side of the fence what that would be but that's that one actually you know what out of all of the surfaces that we've tried today I think I actually like the pastel board and using these colors. How about that? Did I um, did I go through? Uh, is there? Um, okay, the color fix. We can do color fix if you like. As one last thing would you like me to do color fix um, I've got to tell you it's not one of my favorite it's not one of my favorites for pastels 
excellent for color pencils and it's the smooth so would you like me to try that before we go um, I'm just having a look at time just yeah shall we shall we do that we'll do we'll do color fix one last one how about that yes please okay here we go and I chose the um, a color which is a color that I like to use for oh look at me so grubby um, for skin tones and stuff like that so let's go with that one. Oh, sorry okay uh, I need clean brushes I think maybe let me just clean these brushes uh, get a clean sponge I think let's just go with the sponge first okay what have I been mixing so far let's just mix okay we're getting pretty good skin tones with mixing that as we've done uh, let's just do that I'll first do the yellow ochre oh it's going actually down all right let me just go closer Uh, Chrissy, it has been great to see what to expect from different papers with pan pastels, but in my opinion, nothing can beat pastel matte. I will also give pastel board a try. Uh, it looks nice too. Yes, I think out of all of them, let's mix here. Okay, you know what color fix? It's actually going, the smooth is actually going all right. What's going on? Oh, I know what I don't like. I don't like using the brushes with that, but with the sponges, it's okay. There we go. It's actually quite nice. Quite nice with the sponges. Okay, but I didn't mix other colors, but we all know when we mix colors. You know what? Let's if you were doing shading, if you wanted to shade, put my maybe a, maybe on a you know there's some shadows and stuff like that I would probably for me I would probably end up using like a bit of purple so how does that go yes look at that you know what pan pastels art spectrum color fix smooth goes well so for people that don't have or can't get a hold of it that looks really good there ah yes I don't mind that actually I don't mind it let's go well I know what's gonna happen here it's just gonna go brighter isn't it and of course to make uh, brown what do we do it's uh, blue and it's usually burnt umber um, so to make oh sorry to make gray I meant to say oh and let's have a look here if I mix blue hang on why is it showing me that it's like a sort of like a gray isn't it that's not right is it maybe it is it is there you go it is that's right all right so if I put say blue into that orange I should get close to that color let's have a go that's not really orange is it hang on blue red and yellow because yellow and yellow and red make orange there's the blue oh yeah there it goes just a little bit hmm. looks more purple though doesn't it to me maybe I put too much No, 
that's not right. I'm not doing it right. Let's have a go. Maybe this is all contaminated. Let me try again. Let me try fresh stuff. Because this colour wheel is right. I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. Blue. going to make orange here. Okay, that's orange. Now why is that doing that? I'm do oh, is that? Oh yeah, there it is. There's the color. There's the color. There it is. Yeah. is there. I don't know if you can see. You can't see it, but I can see it. Wow. Okay, we need pastel pencils on top. Okay. I should try my brushes as well. So on top. There you go. Um... Uh, Heidi says, I have the most trouble with blues. Nice bright blue combos. They always seem to go more grayish instead of bright when I mix. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm, yeah. And you know what? Look at this. It's working out okay. So, that's using the sponges, pan pastels, mixing, making skin colors. I mean, you could use these for shades and stuff. And then we come out again. Now let me use the brushes. Now last time we used cut. Now last time we did this, I had a horrible experience. So <laughs> let's try with the brushes, my trusty brushes. Okay. Let's try. Yeah, yeah. See, it doesn't work with my brushes. Yeah, it's not the same experience as it is. Although, let me vacuum that, so that might be the thing. Okay, I'm making a skin tone. I'm trying to make a skin tone. Um, Probably not good with the brushes, I think. Better with the soft tools on that one. Although, you just have to apply different techniques. Maybe if you persevere. Yep. Just need to desaturate that with a little bit of burnt umber. Yeah, it's just I'm not getting the same vibrancy as I am with this one. Um, I'm trying. Okay. All right, so on color, on Art Spectrum, color fix smooth. The sponges work really good with the pastel pencils on top. How about that? Um, Chrissy, it really doesn't seem to be grabbing the pastel the way it does with sponges. Yes, I agree. I agree. Pastel mat rules. <laughs> Says Garrett. Yes, it does. See, it does. It does. But you know what? I think out of... Shall we take a vote? Forget, forget pastel mat. Put pastel mat out of the equation. Out of all of the things that we've tried today, what has been your favourite? Um, let me just put them out here. There we go. There's the board. Colour fix. 
there's the I'm reminding you there's Sennelier um, the grey felt paper there's that uh, we also have UART which wasn't so bad that was all right we made skin tones with that uh, pastel board wins I'm loving pastel board wow yeah um, Sennelier uh, velvet mm, not really uh, no uh, then uh, this was I tried this earlier just before the stream that's that's Mitton Tex so that works similar to color fix can I just say that similar to color fix and of course we did our gradient so we made so many more colors out of those four with including the titanium white and and the black there so for me out of all of the things that we tried I'd have to say uh, number one would be a pastel board it just it was just lovely let me just have another go well, here we go just yeah there you go it just it grabs it grabs the pastel okay even with the brush look at that sponge again let's go with the sponge yep and there we go and Peggy hi everyone oh my god I just realized what time it was that's okay so the velvet works better with colored pencils says Helen um, uh, wow computer is going nuts here oh so sorry Helen pastel board is the best today yes um, uh, yep uh, the board hands down says um, Deb uh, pastel board yes okay yes um, I agree pastel mat is yeah yeah so just yeah so I mean but it's good that we do these tests and it's good that we just you know check things out every now and again and just so um, you know and it's um, and thank you to Heidi who asked uh, my vote is pastel mat pastel board you art uh, 800 I personally won't touch any of the others there you go um, and you wouldn't need tape to hold down no you wouldn't Rhonda would you <laughs> um, so so for people who are starting out so th thank you to Heidi for suggesting this and reiterating how people ask about you know what set can I purchase if I'm a beginner and of course that's the this is what you can start off with and they're like pure pigments those ones and I think is that one pure pigment yes these are all pure pigments um, with the addition of the white and the black so so if anyone is wanting to start using this medium and of course we all know it mixes with so many other things um, I would start with that and um, and then every now and again when you're passing the art shop instead of buying a cup of coffee or two maybe go in and buy you know one of these I suppose um, and as for diff using different papers and I know that I always lean towards pastel mat I can't help it but it's the results that I get and I and from what I can see um, with all my art friends here we're all pretty much in agreement here I think so far so yeah so I just wanted to say look you know thank you all so much for for joining and for contributing and joining in into this uh, live stream uh, hopefully I'll be finishing one of my art pieces this weekend I just want to upload it I've got so much to do but I just wanted to say I'm just so grateful that you guys hang out every week and Dee Dee hello loving watching the results saves money 
on not having to do our own testing. There you go. Um, yes, so um, just wanted to say all thank you so much. And I will be live streaming again, probably just a working stream on Sunday. So if you're, if you're bored and you've got nothing else to do, maybe you just pop in and say hello if you like. Um, just wanted to say also again, thank you very much to Wendy, um, who... Who, who's moderating the stream constantly and just um, I you know she's just um, she's just wonderful uh, to have around uh, and uh, helping us all as well and please um, I've got her details in the description box below um, give me a few days or so and I'll just see if I can actually add all of the things that we talked about and uh, the papers that I used um, but um, just wanted to say all thank you so much and um, until the next time uh, bye for now